Hey guys, hi and welcome to the video. My name is Samil Shah. In this video, um, recently I posted a video for, for, for basically people who transition from a non-IT background to an IT background who made it to software um, industry. I recently got an opportunity to interview Sai as well. So I told you his story. And now I would like to read a couple of comments and they are so motivating. I mean, I, I definitely uh, would like to read uh, some of the comments and then that would actually provide you some source of motivation how people are struggling, but they did not give up, right? So essentially you shouldn't give up, right? So let's see. Um, uh, this is Pinny. Uh, so I'm going to read uh, his, his comment here. I completed my B.Tech from Assam in Mechanical Engineering in 2017. I never imagined uh, going to IT industry before that. Even after B.Tech, I took coaching for GATE Mechanical for a year and finally understood that this is not my cup of tea. Okay, so he was a little demotivated there. I moved to Bangalore in September 2018 with hardly any idea. All I knew was I needed to learn Python and machine learning data science from an institute. Search many places and took admission into an institute. Learned Python there, used to practice Python all day in my PG. But certainly it was not enough uh, and uh, it was certainly not enough to get a job. I had to learn uh, more. After the Python course, I asked, I asked the institute if they had any project for me. Luckily they had a project on Django, but they said they won't pay anything but I can learn Django for free. So every morning I had a Django classes on morning after that I used to work on the project till 8 to 9 p.m. every day. This went for about two months but the CEO um, though that the project I was going was very slow and uh, he fired our guide teacher from the project so left with a Django certificate. Then I started applying for jobs with whatever I knew, failed six to seven interviews, obviously after sometimes got selected in the company which had a technical team but not a tech company, worked there for 1.5 years where I worked on Django and learned more about web technologies. As, as you can see, my journey till here was not very straightforward and I only started learning the importance of data structures and algorithms. All this time I was working on a project where um, even if I don't optimize the code, the app still works. After the first company, I started applying for other companies in between of COVID since they started uh, deducting my salary, which was already low. After three to four failed interviews, I got another company whose main focus was that data and work environment is kind of startup. I'm learning a lot here now, still learning a lot of computer science uh, concepts. I hope this helps someone who uh, I hope this helps someone who is not from a top tier college, not from CSIT branch, who started coding after college, except the first sem C language in which I had a backlog. <laughs> wow, this is such an amazing story, man. I mean, uh, this is really great, Penny. I mean, I'm pretty sure this would inspire so many people. I mean. This is extremely, extremely motivating, and and, and, I, and I clearly see that um, uh, you 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 were from mechanical engineering and you moved to IT. You had no idea of programming. There there were like hard times, right? But you did not give up, right? That's the idea. We all have hard times. We all, we all go through down times, right? But it's the attitude of not giving up. It's the attitude. I'll keep going, whatever it takes. It, so as you can see. Even he went for some projects that was not even being paid. He worked so hard. After that, then he also tried to move to like he applied for so many jobs. He didn't. He got rejected, but he still kept going on that. So he keep trying, keep trying, keep trying. He landed up on his first job, worked for 1.5 years, and then after that again, struggled with data structures, data science, and other things. But at this point as well, he's still learning and he's doing great in his life. Uh, this is a great, um, uh, this is a really, really um, a great story, uh, Penny. Uh, I hope this story will motivate other people and um, uh, I would read more uh, more of uh, such kind of stories on my YouTube channel so that I could motivate a lot more people. Now, this, this channel is just not about um, learning Python. It's now become a journey about uh, 
it's basically now for me it's like a journey where i would like to motivate hundreds or not even thousands of people uh inspire them to start programming and learn um, and eventually not only software but learning about investing and learning about so many other things in in their life and becoming the best version of you as i said guys uh, don't give up keep smiling keep coding keep learning and if you want to get in touch with pini uh, you can uh, comment on this video or i'll ask pini if he's watching this video please uh, put your email address so people can get in touch with you great story man keep keep going and all the best for all your future endeavors thank you everyone for watching